there's so much pressure, so much value put on, on trying to live a certain kind of lifestyle in your twenties and to maximize that. And with, and I think in order to get women to buy into that, the conversation around fertility had to be, had to be silenced or muted somehow. April, what does this uh, start for you? Well, I think this is another way that technology has kind of like intervened with God's design from the, well, the idea of birth control. I'm sure they had really creative ways of (laughs) dealing with that back in the olden days, but like having, it's given us this belief that we have a choice and we have, we can plan and we can try and we can decide and we can start and we can, you know, it just puts us in the the driver's seat a lot. And I know, and that's a very big topic to go down that, like the whole birth control thing, but just giant step back. What is, what is the purpose of marriage? When, when you decide to get married, are you, are you saying like, now I'm going to start a family or are you saying kind of what Holly was saying? It's like, now we're going to get married and we're going to live life. And we're going to have these, check these things off our list. And then will decide to slow down and start having kids. Like what, like, what is the definition of family? When does that start? Like, when is the conception of a family happen? Is, is it at the wedding or is it when you have your first kid or, you know, so I think just needing to kind of redefine even in the Christian world, this is so confusing. This is not clear at all. Um, even yes. when I was, you know, like in college or in high school, youth group, like things like that in the very, very Christian world, I went to a Christian high school and like great church with a great youth group. That was very much the message was go to college, get a job, get a career. And even our, my parents and our, like our parents' generation were kind of like the pill was new. So it was like, get on the pill for five years because you live life and then you have kids and just that whole mentality is, is, right. has really taken over even in the Christian world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We, we don't really realize how much that carries with it an assu- assumption about the family that it's essentially a negative thing. Like uh, I remember when we first, we decided like, you know, after six months of, we were planning on being on birth control for, you know, a number of years. And then we decided to come off of it and six months and got pregnant for pretty quickly. I remember April, where we were at, I remember we were at your church back in Columbus and, and you were, I think, newly pregnant. And yeah. uh, there was a woman that you really was a big part of your life growing up. You know, she's an older woman now. And, and, uh, and so you, you announced to her, like, I'm pregnant. And it was like the most authentic reaction I've ever seen. She's like, oh no. <laughs> and we're, we're married. Yeah. We're like, you know, we're, we're ready, but it's kind of early, you know, it's our first year of marriage, but it's, you know, and, and this, I had this a is a smile on my face and yes. I was her, like, I was clearly excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, th- but again, it, it was an authentic reaction. I appreciate the auth- authenticity. It wasn't, I don't think she thought about it, but, but it did betray the basic beliefs. So like another, another thing that to me culturally has betrayed, this is the idea of a of baby moon. Right. And so, mm-hmm. you know, like, you're getting pregnant for the first time. Like, oh, before we get pregnant, we got to go and have our last taste of freedom. And this, this is why I'm saying like, it's really important to think about, you know, what is a family? Like you said, April, like, have you ever heard of a team that's like worked really, really hard to get to the championship? And then the championship's a few weeks away. They're like, you know what? Oh, we're about to get the championship. We need, we need a break. We need to experience freedom before we, we compete in this thing that we've been looking forward to and been working towards. No, of course you don't do that. You take a big break and you, 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 that's the framing of when you're about to do something that is fairly miserable. That's going to, that's going to make your life kind of more negative. Then you're like, okay, I've got to get the last bit of enjoyment out of this season because what's coming is going to be worse. Like, I, I can't imagine another way to frame that. That just sounds like that to me. And, and so as soon as you promote that, I think you are promoting the, this idea that there's something inherently restrictive as opposed to it's the actual reason why we were getting married and starting families is we cannot wait to have children. Like the difference, I remember when we were talking about when our first grandson was born, when Kelsey and Matt had, had Elijah, I mean, there, there was it, it, the, the, level, the level of explosive joy at our Shabbat table when that baby came in. It was like it, the app, like nobody, <laughs> like we, everyone wanted to be, it's just so exciting. And I, I think this is the way that children, you know, I, there's these old movies. Sometimes I watch them or there's a great movie about modern uh, Israeli family 
where they've been wanting to have a child for so long. And the sort of the climax of the whole movie is this father dancing around with his infant son just over his head. And all of his friends are there like clapping and singing and crying and just cannot believe how, what a beautiful miracle this is like that. That's the way children were used to be perceived and celebrated in, into the world. And now we go off on baby moons to, to bemoan the, uh, the, the, the lifestyle hit that we're about to take. And then we bring children into a world in which they, they are, they are considered, uh, somehow like the, the ball and chain They're they're going to drag our lifestyle down. Right. So that this, this is a, such a different way of viewing children and family.